ancient Egypt is not the first place you might look for the roots of AI. But there's a story to be found. The American Egyptologist Edwin Smith bought a papyrus in Luxor in 1862. It was only translated in 1930 by James Breasted of the University of Chicago. He found that it dated from at least 1600 BC and was a manual for treating injuries. In it was the first recorded use of the word brain in human history and other unique language like a comparison of the surface of a brain to the appearance of molten copper. 27 of the papyrus's 48 cases are about head trauma, so it may have been a manual for treating injuries from construction work or battle. Medicine today can identify a host of conditions, but the papyrus has just three diagnoses. Injuries that most likely will be cured, difficult but not impossible cases, and the verdict you don't want to hear. An example from Breasted's book shows how the papyrus represents reasoning rules. The left side has the preconditions and the right side the conclusions. The translation lets us read a modern version, but English or Egyptian, the key point is the form the text takes. The term database is well known, but the papyrus is the earliest form of what AI would call a knowledge base. If then rules have been the basis for many AI systems. And it's why the Smith Papyrus is sometimes referred to as the birth of analytical thinking. <laughs>